should we commend Starbucks even if some believe it is a PR move? The answer is yes, first of all. Yes, we should commend Starbucks. Yes, they're doing a good thing. Yes, we have a right to be cynical when corporations do these things. We know what PR is all about. There are times you cannot distinguish when there, whether something is a PR move or something is genuinely something that a corporation wants to make its identity. I gather based on what has happened that they want you to think that they learned a lesson. They want you to think that they genuinely are looking for to create an establishment where people are really feeling not safe, welcome, wanted, accepted, uh, and they are grateful for their business. Anyhow, I am a Starbucks regular, as in several times a day, several hours a day, every day of the week, even when out of town. I've been lucky that to date, to date, I have not had outwardly, notice I said outwardly, but I have not had an outwardly racist barista as the one uh, the two black men encountered in Philadelphia. Look, I do not doubt when I was in Timbuktu, Portland, or when I was in Timbuktu, Texas, or when I was in, in, in other places that maybe some of those baristas who weren't very well-cultured may have had thoughts, but they were respectful, responsible, and they treated me with respect. Starbucks' response, while less than ideal in the first 24 hours, has been stellar since, I want to say, when I say their response wasn't stellar, it wasn't that their response was bad. They wrote, they wrote a simple note saying they are going to investigate and research what happened at the store, etc., etc., etc. We had a video. We had the statement uh, of, uh, of the person. Uh, uh, that was enough. The fact that a barista or the manager called a cop on two black men uh, that were sitting down, were not doing anything violently, even if they were just quasi-trespassing, if you want to call it that, calling the cops, especially because these were black men, given the history in our country of the past and today, what just about any encounter with a black man and a police means, the fear, the fear of every black man that is a thinking black man, that is, that has an encounter with the police, has to have gone through the mind of that, but that manager who called. And it's likely that manager wanted that fear because those guys, you know, when, they, when she spoke to them, oh, well, you know, they kind of disregarded her. She wanted the fear. She wanted those guys to feel that fear because she was pissed at them. Just for being black. Ma'am, can I use your bathroom? No, you didn't buy anything. You sit down. You couldn't use the bathroom, but you sit down, of course. Many others continuously go in there and use the bathroom, as I see in my all the Starbucks that I go to, without having purchased anything. But there was implicitly, I don't like these guys just because of how they look. Because of how they look, I call the cop. Starbucks is making a big issue out of this. And I think for that matter, this cannot be a PR move. Kudos to Starbucks. And I will continue to give kudos to Starbucks on this particular issue. All right, continuing. Starbucks executed a full frontal engagement after the incident, one that likely extended the exposure or life cycle of the event. No company wants to extend the life cycle of an event like this. They want it to die. They want it to die. They are not going to do anything to keep it in the news. But that Starbucks, they kept it in the news purposefully. If we want to be honest, most people don't give a damn, black, white, or other. They have reached a level of co complacency with the status quo. America is just America, an intractable, prejudiced country on many fronts where one finds comfort in one's silo. The Trump effect is still quite active in the country where people have now have permission to lose their inhibition, their racial insensitivities, and common decency be damned. 
That's where we are. That's where Trump brought us. The Trump effect. It is okay to be mean. It is okay to be selfish. It is, o- it is okay to be demeaning. The Trump effect. Remember that. That's the cancer we are trying to extricate. Thank you, Starbucks. Thank you, ABC, Disney. Because that is what it's going to take. Many of these private corporations stepping up. Because the government is no longer in, in, in in, in, in the hands of the people at this point in time. It is in the hands of an evil cabal. Many people don't yet see it that way. But the government is in the hands of an evil cabal that is degenerating the nation and for my conservative uh, listeners for those of you I love who are conservatives my friends you know who I am I don't say this lightly many of you don't see it many of us are still clouded by our own ideology we are under the spell of an evil empire that hopefully we will start to get rid of in November, though I'm starting to have my doubts. The racist barista who is no longer with Starbucks is just one cog in America's ethnic and racial machine that still has not worn out. She likely represents at least half of the white population, but that is progress. This type of racist event probably occurs in Starbucks and every store in America thousands of times a day without much notice or fanfare. Nobody is taping it. The aggrieved does not have the time to be bothered. It is so the norm that it is merely more expedient or less stressful to just let it be. And that's what we do. We just let it be. What I tell people though is, We can't just let it be because you let it be, it never changes, right? If you continue to just accept the racist and just turn your head, ah, that's sorry, racist, and then you go off and do your thing, that racist remains because there's no pushback, there's no penalty, there's there's nothing to impact his view. There's nothing to help him or her. There's nothing. I personally believe most people are good. I think most people are the victims of their culture. They're the victims of their upbringing. They're the victim of the evil, the the most evil within whatever culture they're in. And it is our job, those of us who have the wherewithal to do so, to help them out of there. And look, I've helped quite a few out of the hell. I have never ashamed to tell folks about what my own deficiencies were and who've helped me out of my deficiencies as a homophobe. And now one of the largest proponents and supporters and allies of that movement. And it's the same with the same spirit that I give all racists a pass until they decide they will not change their ways after being informed. What Starbucks is doing today is very important. What Starbucks is doing today ain't PR. Starbucks is extending the life cycle of the story. How is that good PR, a good PR move? It is not. It is time, it, it is time to objectively understand what this corporation is doing. Tackling an issue very few of them are willing to do. Make a change on an issue the country continues to be resistant about more often than not. 